All right. And Decay doesn't get a three. 116. Get 60 times. Uh oh. Takes 120. Well, that's fine. I see Platypunk buying out DK here. I, I see it. Yep. Yeah, 400 uh, buyout price is pretty cheap. Alright, can I get a two? Yep. <laughs> Alright, can I please stay in there and get this darn club? Ah! Somebody kill me. Oh, this really sucks, guys. I don't know what else to say right now. Uh. They so were still moving upward. And my shops are closed. I don't know what else to say at this point. At least I'm still making some money and getting myself close to the target, but... I still want to feel more at ease with a, uh... A promotion already. Tell you what, though, that delay of Carver getting his next promotion was, oh, m badly needed. Because he was about to take the lead. And he lost some cash already. Uh oh. <gasps> Got all suits already? Well, good thing he has to go around the whole board like that just to get him around. No. I don't want to pay anybody right now. Not even Platterpunk. Okay. Say it has no more capital to be invested, so... That's why it only costs that much. I wouldn't have made it over to that side anyway. Even if I would have gone to the 28. But, the best part about landing on the bank is I can choose which way to move. Up or down next turn. So if I could roll a, uh, a three... I'll land on that blue warp. Six. And it doesn't let me land on that. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna try this one. Those are all... Let's just try this one. Yeah, DK ain't gonna fall for my 468. <laughs> Got 7,000 even. <laughs> This could be a very, very close finish between the four of us. Okay, here we go again. 
Just don't give me a one. Give me a high roll here. I need a one, two, three, four, five. Five to reach the club, six to reach the cannon. Two, uh... Well, at least I'm still in for now. 39. Oh, yes! I Give me that through yourself card immediately! There we go! Now I can finally get a promotion. Wow. Like, give me that through yourself card. Uh. Finally. Four, please? Yeah. Well, now I got all four suits plus the suit yourself card, so at least I can save it for the next go around. I better land on that blue warp next turn. I need to roll a five for it. I don't want to land on Platypunks' spaces here. This could be dangerous territory. Five. Six. Okay. This better be a warp card so I can get out safely. Eh, I don't think ten is. Everyone's shot price is cut in half. Well... Then give me a four or five. Five. Okay. Here comes another card. Twenty-two. I could sell a shot back for twice its value. Well, let's see. Could go with that one. Um. Yeah, let's go with this one. This should give me a ton of cash here. Oh yeah, like 900 net worth. That is awesome. Well, at least I got past Platypunk's row, dangerous row of three right there. 87. Roll the all seven and eight die. <laughs> Gets a seven. Hmm. So all but one shop has been bought now. Five. Still can't quite land on the cannon. Uh, 33. Now I can sell a shot back for three times its value. Oh. Oh, here we go. Yeah, why not? Let's see where that puts me in terms of net worth. 9 Oh, wow. I'm just a little over 250 away now. Wow. And gosh, I could win this with that promotion. How strange would it be to reach 10,000 gold with only three promotions? One, eh. Still not disastrous. We're in good shape.
I just need to roll high numbers to get back to the bank fast enough. <laughs> DK gets that back. <laughs> Buy somebody out for four times its value. Not gonna do it. <laughs> I need to roll a five to land on the blue warp. Please give me a five. One again. I got... <laughs> Four forty one there. Yeah, why not? Say, we're still in the uh, um, level with trying when I had that struggle of getting the club, and I. Uh, Accumulated so much cash, cash, not just through sales, but also these two bizarre venture cards that let me sell a shop back for one for twice its value, and then one for thrice its value. <laughs> How crazy is that? Oh, Carver gets to play both Round the Blocks and Memory Block. Yeah, last time we saw Round the Blocks, that's where I got the three sevens. I wouldn't be surprised if Carver does the same thing here. Now he'll just get one row of slimes. That's probably going to give him 200 if he's at level 4. No, he's at level 5, so he gets 250. Alright, what's memory block going to give him? He's probably wishing for a suit yourself card. Nope, he'll just get 50 gold. Alright, can I please get out of here with a 4? Two. 550 buyout price. No. I'm gonna keep myself within um, striking distance of the target, but I don't want to get Carver any closer either. Say, so now I'm just struggling to get out of here. Pay her and gold to zoom straight to the bank. Yeah, that's the venture card I need to win it right now, but it's not gonna work for me. But there's still a card somewhere that will say zoom to the bank for free. But just wanting to zoom to the bank right away is just something I really want right now. I need to roll a two for the warp space or three for that uh, diamond and get a venture card that will let me warp somewhere, hopefully. Two or three, please. One. Gosh, I've been stuck here for quite some time now. They're definitely enjoying it because I'm having a hard time just getting out. Yeah, Platterpunk is actually... Uh, Getting himself a little closer to a game-winning promotion, too. Uh-oh. He could get a big amount here if he rolls high. Oh, gosh, he just did. 1,200! Oh, my gosh! That's a big WTF right there. Oh, gosh, I really need to land on that blue warp space now. Well, can I please get a card that warps me? 14? Give everyone 30 gold each. Ah, this sucks. Ugh. Come on, give me a card that can get me out of here. 
You can sell a shop back for 500 gold more than its value. That one. <laughs> Uh, now I'm really scared. Platypunk just overtook me. Can this card warp everyone out? Please? Oh. He has to sell a shop back. Forcibly. That one. It's not up for auction, though. Four? Two. Oh, jeez. Well, at least I'm in a spot where somebody could hit that button and get me out of here. One, that's not gonna do it. I'm gonna double check what my level is right now before I roll the dice again. Kinda wish I would have expanded that shop. Just to make him pay me a lot more. Oh, here we go! I still gotta get past uh, that one button down there though. I wanna see what level I'm at one more time. Um, individual standing. Here we are. Yeah, I'm at level three. Huh. Yeah, I've only had just two promotions throughout this whole game. And to get uh, this much net worth through only three levels is very, very bizarre. Okay. I'm only paying him that much, which is fine. But um, as long as nobody hits a button here. Or draws a card. Everyone gets to choose which way to move on the next go. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. One. Uh oh. Oh, he's moved down. Good. I'm like, if he moves up to that button, I'm gonna be mad. Okay, Carver can't hit a button now, so we should be good. 114. Does he draw a card that. Take your level times 40 from all other players. Uh oh. He just took 200 from me, but I should be fine with the uh, promotion I should get. Seven. Okay, um. I have to get 1,019. 1019 will win. 1421. That will do it. Alrighty. Wow, I reached this target with only three promotions. And it was quite a struggle to get to level 4, and I mean quite the struggle. Because I was having trouble just getting a club, and after getting a Sue Yourself card along with that club, I had trouble just getting out of that one island it, it, I, I was in for it. Ugh. Wow. Bronze Property Patent, and Gold Capital Captain. Wow. Take away... Bronze Best Bingo and Gold Lucky 7 Swag. Yeah, for getting that row of 7s earlier. I definitely would not have won this without getting that. That Lucky 7 Swag. 79 stamps. Hmm. And this took 53 turns. This could have taken quite a lot less turns if it wasn't for me getting stuck so much trying to get the club and all that kind of stuff. This probably could have taken only 40 turns. Especially for when I had all those opportunities to sell my shops back for two and three times their values. Say, if you can tell by that one particular spike in the graph right there, on the blue strip right there. You see that big, big increase right there? That's what I got for selling the shop back for three times its value. That was... That just felt perfect. Anyways, I had 17 sales to 15 payments. A near even amount there. Platypunk was perfectly even. <laughs> DK made uh, quite a few sales too, but they definitely just weren't that much. 
because he just didn't expand his shops well enough to do it. And I thought Carver was a legit threat here, but um, his sales to payments was um, two to one in favor of payments. <laughs> That's pretty crazy if you think about it. 1571 would have been my next salary, and yeah, I, I was level four with this. Everyone else got at least two or three more promotions than I did at, at the rate I was going. And I and I still won this with a much lower level than they have. How crazy is that? I know I've asked that question numerous times, but it, it does need to be asked for this kind of stuff here. It really does. Anyways, we'll go ahead and close it out for today. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Fortune Street, the Colossus on Easy Rules. <laughs> Didn't feel easy today because I was having struggles with just trying to get things going and everything, but still came out on top of the end. Anyways, thanks for watching. I will see you good friends in the next Fortune Street board. Have an awesome day. So long.